Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ruth the Dude, and today we're talking about why the Xbox One X is worth its current price, $450, from a PC Tech channel perspective. Ever since the release of the X, people have been complaining about the price, which is somewhat justified if you're a usual console player, but if you take a little step back and see how powerful this console is, plus all the other features and capabilities the X comes with, you'll come to realize how good the X really is. This console is nothing like Xbox One's original release back in October 2013 when it retailed for a whopping $500. The X is the true powerhouse console of this year and probably will be for the next upcoming years, especially since the price might drop even more. So first off, let's discuss some basic tech specs of the Xbox One X. Its graphics capabilities are just about the equivalent to an RX 580, which as we know is a top of the line AMD card and the best RX 500 series card out there. It has 12GB of DDR5 RAM. Now let me say that again, 12GB of DDR5 RAM. Everyone knows that RAM is extremely expensive and 12GB of such high quality RAM is very impressive for the X's price. Storage is pretty decent, it's nothing too special, it's a 1TB hard drive. What else can I say, it gets the job done. This will definitely affect loading screen times and things like that, but you'll be getting top tier performance once your game loads in, so I don't have any complaints. Once your game loads in, you'll be able to play 4K at a solid 30 frames per second or 1080p with a true solid 60 frames per second with little to no frame drops, plus graphic setting enhancements. Now, there are some games that won't be getting any enhancements from the Xbox One X, but I can assure you, you will be getting a solid 60 frames per second with the X if you transition over to those types of games. Now, what about something a lot of people don't discuss too much, power consumption? The X has an internal 245 watt internal power supply that according to numerous websites is rated at 80 plus gold. Multiple websites have talked about how efficient the X is with power management, so if you have a restrictive power company, the X will be showing off its strength in that department as well. So yes, the X is easily worth $500, but now it's $450, but let's just say it's worth $510, because we already know you're going to be spending $60 on the year membership for Xbox Gold. Of course the X isn't a PC, and I still recommend you build a PC, since you don't have to pay yearly for an online membership, and there's way more discounts on PC games, etc, but if you simply want a machine that is a home theater, a gaming powerhouse, and so much more, go grab an X. Again, I do recommend building a PC, and if you're interested in spending that $500 on building a great gaming PC, check out the video I linked in my description. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video guys, I hope I was able to educate you a little bit more on this topic, and maybe it'll change your mind about not buying an X, or even maybe you want to now build a $500 gaming PC, I don't know, but anyways, thanks for watching, if you liked the video, drop a like, if you have any comments or questions, drop a comment, I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can, and if you like the content you're seeing, drop a sub, it helps the channel a lot. Thanks for watching, peace out.